Okay, so let's just briefly review, even though perhaps some of the other courses you already learned this. Remember that some of the factors that affects time value of money, when we calculate the present value, future value, it's important to know these three factors first. So of course, what is the time periods of the return for each and every investment project? How long does it take in order to get, what is the lifetime of the assets, basically, is the number of periods. Interest rates, what is the current interest rate that we will be getting if we invest this money elsewhere? What is the return that we're getting? The percentages that we're earning from these return that we get on an annual basis. And then, of course, the principal amount, which is the $60,000 you're getting every single year. So different problems you'll be earning different problems, different projects, you'll be earning a different rate of return, different principal amount. So all together, how does the factor it back to the current time point? Which one gives you a higher present value than others? So these are the factors that we need to consider, well, you'll need to consider when you look at each and every problem, ask yourself, what is the principal amount here in this problem that we need to take care of? And what is the lifetime of the asset? And what is the interest rate that factors in calculating present value or future value? So principal amount, let's just review there are, generally speaking, two different types. You could be getting a return all together, just a one-time return we call a lump sum return. Or like the previous B2B example that we went over, an annuity return, $60,000 every single year. Okay, so these two types, you will be using different present value factor or future value factor to consider the value. Because if it's annuity, then every single year you're getting 60,000, you have interest factored into each and every one of these return. But if it's an altogether return, $360,000 that you're getting five years from now, that interest you will not be getting in the middle of these years. Okay, so lump sum return, annuity returns, how we calculate the present value is different. Interest 